The importance of fungi is very interesting when we start looking at them and seeing all the different things that fungi do, because a lot of times we don't really understand them, so to speak. When we look at fungi, fungi are actually a source of food. They are very rich in available protein, and some of these things can be eaten as is. We have things like this. This is a chanterelle, which is a very pretty sort of mushroom-like structure that can be eaten. We have this, which is pleurotus, again, a very pretty one. This is your common mushroom that you would buy in a store. There are many different types of these. And again, they are a good source of available protein. This is one cut open, and you can see on the inside of it, we often call these little things mushroom caps, and we take them and we stuff them with different things, or we cook them as is. Slice them up and put them on food. You can also have fungi that become important as ways of making food. Here we've got three different materials. We've got a bottle of wine that has become a food product through the use of the yeast. We have got a loaf of bread, which is rising. In this particular case, it happens to be pizza dough. And again, this occurs because of a fungus that's on the inside of it that we call a yeast. And we've got a brie, and the brie is got a fungus around the outside of it that allows it to ferment properly and process properly so that we get the actual texture of the brie. Fungi also affect food in negative ways. This is a yeast or something like that that's growing on the inside of this melon, and this melon is ripe for the recycle bin. This is a actually a piece of meatloaf, and you can see the that it's got two or three different kinds of fungi growing on it. So, you know, they can affect food in negative ways as well. Um, strawberry doesn't look too good. It's actually past its prime, and this fungus is helping decompose it. And then this is soy sauce, which is actually a fermented product that is brewed or created using a specific fungus that helps digest the soybeans so that it can turn into what we would call soy sauce. They're also involved in decomposition. When you see these things out around in the yard and everything, what they're doing is they're helping decompose organic matter and they're recycling nutrients. So they're good for that. Again, that little chanterelle was out there decomposing when it started its lifespan. Here's another one and here's a mass of them. And sometimes we find these things on tree stumps and things like that. And they are just recycling nutrients by through decomposition. Fungi also cause disease of animals. There is a disease called ringworm. There are dandruff. You've got athlete's foot and all sorts of other things. This is digger the dermatophyte getting into somebody's toenail. I mean, that's really pretty gross looking. And all of these are caused by fungus. We have diseases of plants that are caused by fungi. This is a banana. When you see the little speckles on the banana, that's actually a fungal infection that starts out when the banana is green and hard, and it doesn't show up until later on when it starts to ripen. This is an apple that's got penicillium on it, and it's watering down and it's becoming nasty. This is a peach that has got a brown rot on it, and you can see that it as well has become quite non-appealing. This is Brussels sprouts, and you can see the fungus on the inside in here that's trying to keep it from sprouting out as Brussels. This is actually one of my favorites. This is a leaf bud on a plant that has been totally taken over by fungus, and it has totally rearranged the interior of that leaf and that stem so that it's now fungal material. These are roots of a plant that have been infected by a fungus. Leaves infected. This is the trunk of a tree that has a fungal infection in it that was killing the tree. Again, a leaf spot that is caused by a fungus. And on grass, a lot of times we get spots like this, and these are caused by fungi as well. We can get pharmaceutical products out of fungi. This particular case, what we're looking at is we're looking at a growth of penicillium. And penicillium becomes important because the penicillium gives us penicillin, Penicillin is an antibiotic that can be used to fight disease or pathogens. Pharmaceutical products are often bottled up, sold in caplet form or capsule form, and this is an antibiotic. When we look at antibiotics, they stop the growth of different kinds of bacteria. And in this particular plate, you can see several different types of antibiotic discs that are actually functioning against bacteria that are growing in the dish. 
we do fermentation processes with fungi. And there are a lot of different fermented products that we get. This particular barrel is got a wine that is fermenting on the inside of it. If we look at the little glass structure, it is quite ornate, but what it is doing is it is allowing gas to escape without letting air back in. So the gas as it is fermented and it creates pressure on the inside, it comes up the tube, it bubbles out, but no oxygen can get back in. Once the material is properly processed, in this particular case you're looking at a champagne, they bottle it and they rack it like this where it is hanging down so any sediments that you might have might actually accumulate in the neck so that they can remove that before they cork it. And this is fi finished product. And we've all seen finished product like this and it becomes quite, you know, quite beautiful and entertaining. There are industrial uses for fungal products. In this particular case, we've got enzymes that have been produced that we use to get clean various types of clothing. So when we look at fungi, fungi are very important to us because they do a lot of things, everything from producing food to destroying food, causing decomposition. They can be a source of food. We can get important products from them. And therefore, fungi become very important in what they do.